Welcome back, Facebook Live. AJ Gibson here in New York City at the AmeriCares Summit with Peter Seligman, uh, the chairman of Conservation International, the yeah. CEO of the newly formed Nia Taro. Right. Thank you for being here. Thank so you. So you start Conservation International 30 years ago. Right. And that, that's an that's a, that's a entity of its own now. Correct. You've now left and decided to start a new organization, right. Nia Taro. Correct. Where does that passion come from to now walk away from something after 30 years and start something anew? You know, when you build an organization, and when we founded CI in 1987, I, I was ready for a sprint because of, of uh, the urgency of protecting mm -hmm. biological diversity. And, and that's what we started in 87 as we built an organization and, and really created an extraordinary gathering of talented people from around the world, a great board of directors, um, and began to make big headways in protecting important places. Um, and after a while you realize that um, it's not a wind sprint and you think maybe it's going to become a marathon. You kind of get into stride and you think about the challenges of actually convincing businesses, governments, communities, why it's in their enlightened self-interest to take care of nature. Mm -hmm. and, and getting businesses or governments or communities actually embrace change is challenging yeah. because people like to do what they've been doing. Sure. And, and so through CI, we had an extraordinary track record of partnerships and successes that protected literally hundreds of millions of acres of extraordinarily important ecological places with great biological diversity, big ocean territories, big rainforest territories, with benefits going to communities. And so you, you really kind of get in stride. And then eventually you realize that it's not really um, a wind sprint or a marathon, it's a relay race, right? Mm -hmm. that, that these are multi-generational challenges. And so when I realized that it was a, realize, a relay race, I really began thinking constructively with our board of directors how do we go through succession? How do we actually train the people inside the organization to have the right culture, the right energy, the right inspiration, the right ingenious, you know, innovative spirit to solve big problems? Mm -hmm. And when we built that team, it was clear that we had to make a transition. And I made that transition very thoughtfully and intentionally. But when I was done, which was after 30 years of leading CI, it wasn't a reduction of, of energy or spirit or commitment on my part. It was more, this institution needed that transition. And so I went to a couple of friends um, um, and said to them, I've learned something in the last few years that I think is extraordinarily important if we're going to be successful in securing the health of Earth. And what we learned was two things. One, that nature is going to be at least 30% of the solution for climate change. Mm -hmm. Because forests, oceans, salt marshes absorb carbon. Forests, oceans, salt marshes have the biodiversity that allows humanity to continue to have resilience ecologically to the extraordinary stress that, that climate change is putting on yeah. systems. And what I also learned was that if nature is 30% of the solution, I began to ask our team, who owns this territory? Mm. And what's fascinating is that between 25 and 40% of the earth is under the guardianship of indigenous peoples. Really? Yeah. Okay, so that's a big number. 70%, 70% of the impact ecosystems are on their territories. So if we're gonna be successful in dealing with large environmental challenges, with big climate change issues, our most significant allies have got to be indigenous peoples for two reasons. One, it's their territory. They care. And yeah. two, they have deep ingrained wisdom, experience that has emerged over thousands of years. Thousands of years. And understanding And the understanding actual. that place. Mm -hmm. They don't have in their language it. They don't objectify animals or trees or forests. Everything is a being. Mm -hmm. There are human beings and non-human beings and they have a sense of reciprocity. If we take care of you, nature, earth, you'll take care of us. And so no one was focusing on that. And so with my friends at the MacArthur Foundation, the Malago Foundation, at uh, Emerson Collective, which is Lorene Powell Jobs entity, and at CI, we launched a new organization, mm -hmm. Nia Terra, mm -hmm. which means our earth. Mm -hmm. And that's all we do. Shared commitments with indigenous peoples to help them secure their, their language, their wisdom, 
their territories. Well, the theme, so that's what we're doing. The theme today is resiliency. Right. It seems to play into exactly what you're doing with, the, with these communities and indigenous people. Uh, what sort of resiliency have you experienced working over the years with people just kind of like taking back control of their environment and their, their, their lives? You know, as soon as you realize that it is in your enlightened self-interest to take care of your place, you start thinking about how do we innovate, how do we demonstrate, how do we amplify our efforts? And, and what I've found is that communities want to be resilient. I mean, look, the common Pixar of the earth is a community. And every community is made up of families and the most powerful force on this planet is the commitment of parents to their kids. They want to solve these problems. That's resilience. And so what we need to do is recognize what do we need to solve the problems. I mean, companies need inspired employees. Employees that are young and energetic actually understand as they've emerged as youth that nature is essential. Yeah. You know, so we begin to see that, that all of the institutions on this earth that want to continue to the next generation have got to be smart enough to be resilient. It's in their best interest. It's, if they don't do it, they disappear. It's as simple as that. Well, I appreciate your time. I appreciate the work you're doing. Best of luck with Thank the Thank That is such a, Thank I you. like the name. It's Thank a good you. name. Thanks. Guys, stick around. We've got more coming from the AmeriCare Summit here in New York City.